Hello there and welcome once again to Sitam Church Online Youth Cafe. My name is Linda Mwaniki. In the last video, we were talking about corrective laws, part one. And part two is going to be going up today, where we'll be looking at the story of Naomi. Ideally, we were helping us understand that she was a woman from the book of Ruth who was married to a gentleman known as Elimelech and they had two children, two sons, that is Marlon and Shilon. And along the way, this um, family had left Bethlehem in order to go to the Moabites, the Moabite land, so that they can look for um, they can look for food because it was a time where there was a lot of famine at that time. And unfortunately, Naomi lost her husband, and she didn't just lose her husband, but she also lost her two sons. On top of that, they also lost the wealth that they had as a family. So we are looking at a story where this woman is being renewed. Her story is being restored by God. And you could be watching this video and you're saying that I have gone through one form of loss or another. I have lost a loved one. I have lost uh, something. I have lost my finances. I have lost a friend. I have lost a job. Um, or something ideally that you are ideally holding on to, you know, or trusting God for. And you happen to have lose, lost it at some point or another. In chapter 2 of the book of Ruth, we are looking at Naomi now meeting the Kingsman Redeemer, meeting uh, Boaz. And in Ruth chapter 1, it says, I'll read from the KJV version. It says, And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. I'd love to read that from the book of, um, from the version that is Amplified Version. It says that now Naomi had a relative of her husband, a man of great wealth and influence, I love that, from the family of Elimelech, whose name was Boaz. You can see how this woman is at a point where she has just um, she has just said goodbye to one of her, her daughters-in-law, that is Opa, and then now Ruth eventually decides to continue the journey with her. And chapter 2 is opening up where God is giving, God is showing a story of revival, God is showing a story of restoration to Ruth, to Naomi. And um, the name Boaz means standing in strength. That means standing in strength. So this is a man who had a great pedigree in, um, in, in uh, Judah. He was a well-known man. He was a wealthy man as the Bible is telling us. This man Boaz is so, was such a renowned man such that even his gra great grandson, I believe Solomon, named one of the pillars of the temple after him. That's how amazing this man was. And um, the word kingsman means goel in Hebrew. And then uh, just to help us recap and help us understand a couple of things, it has its roots in the 25th chapters of Numbers and Leviticus, wherein God outlined a plan to prevent capitalism from getting out of hand. Every 50 years, in the year of Jubilee, all properties purchased by corporations or wealthy individuals due to bankruptcy, sorry, were to revert back to the original owner. In the year of Jubilee, all debts were cancelled. It was a father's safeguard against the greed which causes such disparity between the rich and the poor. So here we are seeing the Lord making another provision for Naomi. We are seeing that the, her closest kinsman redeemer had the right at any time to back up to uh, to buy back property which had been lost throughout bankruptcy uh, poor business uh, practices or mismanagement this is why the word goel is translated as a kingsman redeemer a kingsman and redeemer but then the most beautiful thing about this story is that the reflection or the translation of boaz is actually jesus christ that what we are seeing here is that Jesus Christ came in to be our Redeemer. Where, whereas Ruth and Naomi were bankrupt, whereas Ruth and Naomi had nothing, they owned nothing because they had lost everything. We are seeing that Boaz is the one who came in to redeem. That's what you're going to see later on in the story. He came in to redeem their story, to redeem their lives. And Jesus Christ also is standing in the place of Boaz here. It's a reflection of who Jesus Christ is in our personal lives. He has come in to redeem us. He is a wealthy king who has come in to redeem us. So you could be watching this video and you're saying that I have lost one thing or another. I'm here to encourage you and to let you know that 
God's loss is corrective loss. God's loss points us towards him so that we can focus on him and stay safeguarded and understand that he is the one who provides for us. You're watching, you're saying, I have lost finances. I am in debt. I'm here to let you know in the name of Jesus that Jesus Christ is the one who can get you out of that debt. You're saying that you have lost a loved one. Jesus Christ is our comforter. We call him the Prince of Peace, our Shalom. He is there to help you and to give you the peace that you need. So I pray that you will be able to rely on Jesus Christ. Just as Ruth and Naomi, as you'll see in the later on chapters, were able to rely on Boaz. Jesus Christ is able to is, is here to help us understand that we can rely on him. He's helping us understand that we can come into his arms with open arms and ask for help from him and he is there to assist us and to help us the best way we can. As I close, I'll just say that this is an important concept because Jesus Christ is our goal. And as I mentioned earlier that the Hebrew word Kings 1 and Redeemer is goal. We are bankrupt, we are out of it. Like Ruth and Naomi, we have nothing. But there is one who is wealthy, there is one who stands in strength. He is our Kingsman Redeemer and this is Jesus Christ. May you rely on him today to be your Kingsman Redeemer because that is what he came to do for us who are lost souls. I'd like to pray for you right now and, and just believe and trust God for you who is watching this video. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for the entrance of your word that brings light. I thank you for the person, Lord Jesus, who is watching this video. I pray that, Father, they shall activate this word in their lives. That, Lord Almighty, they shall understand the power of you being our Redeemer, you being our final Kingsman Redeemer. I pray that, Lord, you shall visit them in their situation where they have experienced any form of loss. I ask that, Father, Lord, you shall intervene in your power in your goodness, in your grace, and in your might. We thank you that when we call upon you, Father, you hear us and you answer us, King of all glory. We give you thanks and praise. And for that person who is watching right now and wants to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, just say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I thank you that you are my Kingsman Redeemer. I thank you that you have redeemed me from death and you have brought me into life. This day I receive you into my heart and I make you the Lord of my life. May you wrap my name from the book of death and write it in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to engaging with you on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Until next time, God bless you.